Hey, you guys, what's going on? It's Mojo Samurai. That's right, baby. I'm back. I'm back. And yes, let me clarify. Of course, it's not an HCPVR. I know that. And I understand that. And I know you understand that. I want you to know this is just a dazzle. I do have plans to get an HCPVR, but unfortunately, I got a couple plans first. But before I even get into that, let me let you know what's going on in the game. There's obviously domination on WMD. I'm back playing Black Ops. I had to buy a new one, but it's okay. No worries. This is with five of my friends. I think we lose one or two of them during the course of the game, but nonetheless, when I'm playing with a full party of people and we all have mics on and we all communicate, we're pretty much unbeatable, and you'll see that by the end of the scores on this game. I went 23-2 and when I finished third on my team, which is like, damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, obviously I'm using Hamas, and I know it has a grenade launcher. I apologize. But, let me clarify this. I do not like noob tubes. You all know that, that watch my videos. You know, I hate nothing more than noob tubes. But it's domination. You know people will be bogus and bust out a noob tube. And I just want to use it as a defense. Alright? So, as long as we have that out of the way, we're all good. Gotcha. Okay. So, let me talk about my list. First on my list, unfortunately, is new tires. That's a must, because my Volkswagen Corrado, those of you who have seen that Call of Duty video on Strike, saw a picture of it. I need new tires really bad. I'm running around on slicks. Which, yeah, sounds kind of cool, but in Arizona, with hot-ass roads, they get to about 110 degrees every day. It's easy for tread to wear off, and my car has next to no tread, so I don't want to like just be on the side of the road and have tires pop. So that's the next on my list, and I should get one within about a week or two, maybe two or three weeks. I don't know. It depends on how much money I get paid for my job. Second on my list is I'm buying my brother a PS3. I want to and I must because he bought me the original Sony PlayStation a couple days after it came out. And he's been using the original Xbox for a while because I got two of my birthday when it first came out and I gave him one of them. That thing is wrecked beyond recognition. And I, I can't even express wreck enough. <laughs> that thing just took a crap so he's forced to like play on a computer. Or not clan, I can do like watch movies on a computer and like crane his neck and shit. So I'm getting him a PS3 for his birthday, which is August 2nd. So happy birthday, bro. If you're watching this early, I'm getting a fucking PS3. I'm not getting you any games yet, because I need money too, but I'm getting you a fucking PS3. Gotta stick your old game up. <laughs> so after those two, then I'll buy an HCPVR. And I know it's gonna take a while. Maybe another month, maybe in two months. But, as you can see, I'm recording again, so as long as you guys will stay with me, like I know you have, then we're all good. And can I just take a minute out of this just to say thank you, thank you so much the people that stay on my channel, and the people that keep subbing to my channel even though I'm not putting up anything new. Those times are over, and I want to thank you guys so much for staying with me for that long. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, and I know I don't even have 100 subs yet. But I do it for the love of this, and you know this, guys. I do it for the chill, the fun, the cool comments you guys give, and that's the only reason why I do this. So, the main, 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 main topic of this video is my current residence and how I got here. Yes, I live in Arizona right now. I've moved house, son. So, let me tell you about how I got here. My Volkswagen, mostly the reason why I need new tires is that I took a road trip out here with my brother. We left on a Wednesday and we got here on Saturday. Bottom line, it took us three days. And first of all, for those three days, I was mainly the one driving and we didn't stop very much. So my ass got two hours of sleep for three days. I don't know if any of you have ever gone three days with two hours of sleep. It's not a picnic. <laughs> no, pair that shit up with... Driving across the country, having to keep your eyes on the road for 72 hours, almost straight. And yeah, it's a test of your will. Max test of your will. And it gets more exciting, but I'm not going to get into that yet. So I mainly decided to move just because I wanted a new fresh start on life. And I have the option to go to college here, which I'm going to be going in August, late August, August 28th. We went for an IT degree, which 
I'm very excited about and I know it's going to get me a good career where I can live comfortably and do this all the time, which is my main goal. So, we decided to leave when my brother came to visit regularly and we got my car working fine and we just went. And it was kind of slow out of Chicago because we saw a couple of his friends in Chicago because I promised him I would because he was nice enough to work on my car for like two days. The two days that he had off and he wanted to spend with his friends, he worked on my car with me to help me get it ready. So I was like, you know, know what, dude, we're going to see your friends before anything. So we hung out with his friends for a while and then uh, we left him. It was kind of traffic -y, so by the time we finally got out of the city, it was about nightfall. And it was kind of boring leaving Illinois because... Yeah, outside of Chicago, there's not really that much going on. And we drove through a couple of states, and it was kind of cool. And then we went to, uh, we got to Nebraska, and it was boring as hell. It was just cornfield and boring shit. It was almost like driving asleep, but staying awake, because it was just straight roads the whole way. Two-lane roads, middle of nowhere, whatever. And it didn't really even get interesting until we got into Colorado, which had a little bit more hills and rolling hills, and it was a little bit more interesting. But, before we even made it into Colorado, keep in mind that since there's not a lot of cops around, you know how my ass likes to speed. I'll be going about 85 miles per hour the whole way, just straight on the gas. Now, when we're leaving Nebraska and getting to Colorado, this fucking Beamer rolls up on me, on my rear view. There's no one around. We haven't seen anyone behind us or in front of us for about half an hour. So, I'm like, okay, cool. And he starts gaining on me, gaining on me, gaining on me. I'm like, is this fucker trying to race me? So I start to step on the gas a little bit. I bring it up to about 100, which I'm not worried about. There's no cops around. There's no worries that he had, you know. And he keeps up with me, right? And he doesn't try to pass me. And I realize what he's doing. He's just trying to stay in my stream and, you know, have us both go together. So me and this guy get up to about 115. And we stay at 115 for about a straight hour. Just hear my car. <laughs> straight for a whole hour it was really cool and during the rolling hills and everything it got to be really fun then we finally got to Colorado we dipped through New Mexico and then finally we made it to Arizona at about 2 in the morning on Saturday and I'm like next to dead I'm falling asleep like crazy and we're coming down South Mountain in the middle of the night and I'm falling asleep going 70 miles an hour Almost hitting guardrails, regaining consciousness. And it was such, such a crazy experience that I would never want to trade it for anything else again. And on top of that, right when we got into Arizona, beautiful sunrise to welcome us to the new life. So, that is pretty much it, guys. This is Mojo Samurai and or Solanum X. Signing off. Peace.